Welcome back, attractive and well-educated watchers, to Empires of the Undergrowth with the Golden Empire. We just built a little thing, and last time we finished the second mission in our second stage of the Formicarium. So, yeah, it's pretty good for right now, we'd say. But it's nothing special. Right now, we're just uh, checking out our food stores. We're, we're thinking... We're thinking we might be able to do the Formicarium Challenge 2 this episode. If we're really, really good about it. Like, the best. And we're not sure we are the best, mind you. Uh, we don't have the royal jelly that we need to get another big fatty upgrade. But we think... We think we might be able to. Okay. Okay, we think having these shooty shooty ants should be able to protect us from the inevitable throng. Now we don't know that, but we're gonna take we're gonna take the chance. And that'll be... We'll just put them on as the fourth one. Now we'll have soldier girls over here. You know, making sure that soldiery things are done. And, uh... Okay. Yeah, we're just making sure that they all get properly... Look at them. Look at them. They bring the eggs in. And then the eggs grow into larvae, which then pupate, and then pop into ants. So this this is a pretty realistic look, if very, very sped up, of what, what this sort of process looks like. You know, it's, it's not inaccurate, it's just very fast. And we like that, that's why this is on Science Saturday, you know. So yeah, if you're excited for all this, remember to leave a like, subscribe, hit that bell icon for all notifications, and of course, make sure to comment in the comment section below. Give a ha all hail the Golden Empire, and uh, share it to anybody you can think to. So yeah, we're going to probably fail, not gonna lie. If, if this goes bad, there's no way we can fix it, but we have a, a decent storage of food here. So we're going to see how Mr. Mean Sciency Guy tries to kill us this time. Actually, we're going to put medium difficulty on the Formicarium Challenge 1, just so we can see how we compare to the old days. We'll also get a lot of food for it. see how these erectors respond under pressure. As we recall, we only need like two or three hundred food in the first place. And we have so many more things to kill. Let's begin with a small threat. Connecting the Fusca colony now. Nice. I will let ten grow to start with. Just ten. Right, right. So so this is this is just a retrospective here, as it were. So we can get a little bit of extra glory. The little extra glory that comes with it. Oh, dead instantly. And half of our mortar girls are actually like area effect the mortar girls. The threat and responded very quickly. Excellent. Oh, and anybody that they spritz now, as we recall, uh, is weak or is crippled. They get hurt more, just in general, from all physical damage. So while our mortar girls stand back and shoot at them and cripple them, the warriors, our soldier girls, tear them apart. This is good. This is what we want to see. We'll give them their own. Yep, totally fine. Move forward, come on. Have neutralized the threat to their Throw all the good stuff at us. Continue the experiment. Let me know the results. Yeah. Don't add more than 30 ants at once, though. Don't we add don't more than 30 ants at once. 
We don't want to harm the queen, even though we have a hundred tenants. Introducing forty rival. Ugh, forty. Uh, like, oh no, definitely, I won't throw more than 30 in. The first thing I'm gonna do, though, is throw more than 30 in. As we recall, these raptors just get chewed up. They're basically worker ants. Wrecked. Completely wrecked. We haven't lost anybody yet, we don't think. We have long evolved beyond them. Alright, more. Feed me, Seymour. Yeah, he's, you can hear him, he's all super, like, sadistic about it. He's like, yes, good, I will destroy the entire colony. So this'll be, this'll be a, a, a good retrospective. You know, we'll do the first Formicarium challenge, we'll get the spoils from that, maybe buff ourselves up a little bit. And then immediately thereafter, the second Formicarium challenge to see where we really rank and how difficult the first one was compared to this one. Although we honestly think that this one's gonna be easy peasy for us. Fascinating. Now let's try 60 Raptor Ants. Yeah, it's cool. No need to worry all that terribly much about it. They're gonna, like, add, uh, enemies to, you know, bugs and, well, obviously all of these are bugs, but, uh, they're gonna add Devil's Coach Horse Beetles and stuff like that, or Devil's Coach Horses. Yeah, 50 Eruptor Ants are gonna go down. They, they're dead as soon as they get into the door, it seems. Wow, pretty long range on these girls, we'd say. All the way over. They are all maximized. Like, just genetically up here in the the adaptation Superb menu. Response. Superb response indeed. Keep going. Uh, we're not gonna eat them. You're doing we're not gonna, experience. we're not gonna need them. Perhaps a small reward. A Look tiny little surface. reward. Psh. Look to the surface. Whatever, man. Don't insult our mighty colony. It is going to look like we can just a combination of a raptor and a fusca. Let's start with 20 of each. Yeah, and we'll be able to do that just fine. Our our seven little uh worker girls, our seven little royal girls are all going to go down there and be like, "Oh no, yeah, totally fine, just business as usual." While well, the colony's under full-scale attack. An unconventional defense, yet highly effective. Here, we'll send worker girls out here. It's interesting to see the colony oh, yeah. on two fronts. Perhaps we should try 30 of each. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 30. Now we'll pull them all back real fast, like into a separate tunnel and everything even, just to make sure we won't get into a fight right there. Wrecked. Completely wrecked. We gained food. Once again, our raptors triumph. We're always gonna triumph, Doc. That's literally what we do. Yeah, yeah. Give us the food. Go on. You're just making us more powerful by the moment. Yep. Moving it. Working it. Stand such overwhelming assaults is incredible. Oh, is that it? No. How will they handle a sustained flow of aggressors? They will handle it just fine. They won't even worry about it. Yep, they're just gonna turn back, hole up, guard the queen. Anybody who dies will come back right here. Come to think of it, they probably could just go out and take care of it through that door. 
Yep, still taking them on. Upgrades. Boink, boink, boink. Let's make things a little more interesting. Oh, Devil's Coach Horses. Enter the Devil's Coach Horse. Yep. He's just gonna flood them. They're all gonna die too, although they have the best chance of killing anything. It does not seem like they stand a chance. Wow, okay. The uh, Mortar Girls are really stepping it up. Yeah, didn't they didn't even make a difference. No Golden Empire soldiers are gonna die here today. Not in this battle. I seem to have dropped my beetles. I hope they don't harm the little ants. No, it'll it'll be fine. How much you wanna bet they'll just destroy this thing. Done. Didn't kill a single girl. What do we got? More coach horse beetles? We're not terribly worried with how they handled that first one. Nope. Done. Some girls got confused, but they just shrugged it off. They didn't even have a chance. Well, we see where the Golden Empire ranks now. Perhaps that's enough for now, Doc. Gee, you think? It's only... It's only, like, a lot of things you dropped. Don't worry. There's a bunch of food now sitting around. Maybe. They mounted an excellent defense against 20, 25... And 30. As you suggested... Perfect. Oh my gods. We can provide more of a challenge the lack of professionalism. A fantastic suggestion. Oh jeez. What a horrible researcher. Alright, so we achieved the first experiment on medium. What a horrible researcher. He just has absolutely no scientific merit or honesty to Let's him at all. The colony grows over the next few days. Now that they have experienced battle, I expect to see a significant rise in the number of soldiers. We mean, if you'll give us the food as a reward, we thought that was a thing. No? Suppose not. Really, that's actually really disappointing. Was that... Was that not a thing? No, it was not. Alright, well, fair enough. That's fine. Let's... Oh, it was for Formicarium Challenge 2. Uh, will our Formicarium survive? Let's see. The colony. Oh, no, we're good. Oh, uh, no, resume game. The colony seems to have made significant progress. Perhaps it is time we began phase two of the trial. Agreed. Oh, dear. Prepare the feeder colonies. Feeder colonies. That means they're gonna send a bunch of guys against us. Introduce twenty Fusca ants. So, so he'll, for now, while she's watching, follow her orders. For now, we only have a hundred and thirty-six food. We were actually expecting some food from the first, but these girls will be destroyed with relative quickness. We don't foresee any issues at all because of the righteous mortar attacks that we generally commit. I see they haven't lost their potency. Nice. Now let's try the Formica Rufa ants. Nice. We'll be more aggressive. Our raptors will need to put up a strong defense. Yes, and that strong defense is right on the inside of the door. We allow one foot in the door, and then we open fire. <laughs> one ant foot in the door. And then we open fire. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we think we have too good of a blast zone here. Yeah. Once again, our raptors have neutralized the threat to their queen. Good. Quickly, quickly. Experiment as before. But don't push the colony too hard. But don't push the colony too hard. That would be irresponsible yeah and no this guy has never been irresponsible 
Introducing 40 Rufa ads. Introducing 40 Rufa ads. <laughs> what a bad person. What an irresponsible douche. You know, and it's probably because of him that the colony will be so beastly over the course of time. Don't get us wrong. Like, he's pushed us to be creative with how we set up our uh, attack plans. We gotta have our soldiers over here. We gotta have our mortar girls in the back. We gotta have our food in the halfway point right next to the queen. Excellent defense. Excellent defense. Don't think we lost anybody there. But every single soldier and mortar and worker girl are prepared to be lost. Increasing to 50 roof ads. All right, all right. Let's do it. Let's go, buddy. We think our stop at the door policy generally is pretty good. We prefer not to take them on the open field like you might want to. We've got a really nice bottleneck effect here, and we recommend anybody else take it. Give it all hail the Golden Empire in the comment section. Nobody can defeat them. Can't be beat. Yeah, if we take them inside the door, it keeps them from being able to post up and blast us like they do on the open field. Which allows us to stand our ground, Florida man style, and fire on them when they come in. Not good. Are we going to get... Un the colony up. Uh -oh. what I'm willing to. Collect your seeds swiftly, my little ants. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Boink. Now, let's see how they handle the Okay, we have lost one ant. We will start with 30 of each. We have lost one ant. And that ant died a loyal noble death. Now Rufas and Fuscas are attacking as if they wouldn't attack each other first and as if they would just go in a straight line but it's fine this is a video game we got to work on that you know that's the kind of logic we run on we have three oh we lost one so two dead so far but we are stopping them at the door like we do a wonderful victory on two fronts yep he's gonna do a sustained assault at one point and then drop a bunch of bugs and hermit crabs and Stuff in them, um, we bet. We should try three colonies. This three time. colonies. So, thirty of each. The Eruptor, the Fusca, and uh, Rufa. Nice. Thirty of each. We believe that our door stopping plan will do it. We we have a strong border. <laughs> That's a running theme. We have very strong borders, tremendously strong borders. Nobody has stronger borders than we do. Oh wow, we don't think we lost a single one there. Good, good. A little helping hand for what comes next. Yeah, sure. Faster, faster. Oh, jeez, and do you hear him? He's crazy. Faster! <laughs> you know, he's like... He's bloodthirsty for the these ants. Survive against a sustained flow from all three colonies. Yep, here's the sustained flow where he's gonna drop a bunch of bugs and everything, too. Alright, girls. You can see them. They're like, oh, jeez, get back to the colony. Protect the queen. Protect the brood. Protect the colony. She protect. Oh, the first one was the unlucky one. Doing well, my intrepid reptiles, but what's this? A giant tiger beetle really? the fray. No, a giant tiger beetle has become food for our colony. Now we're going to tear it apart and utilize its dead body to maintain our reserves while we fight off the people. Oh, no. Three tiger beetles. They're not gonna last long. Done. Done. Now we have a rear line logistics division, you know, who are waiting to get into battle, but at the same time, if they can't, they're eating food. Like, oh yeah, no, just some soldier girls doing their job. They're doing just as much of a job as anybody else, too, because they're ensuring that we have food for the children. Yeah, we're coming out on a net positive from this attack, dude. We were worried, actually. We're sure he'll step it up at some point. He must. 
But in case he does... Let's just, you know, do that. Nice. Coming out of it a net positive, we're categorically stronger in almost every way on the way out. And we're still utilizing our rear logistics to uh, tear up the things. Oh, what do we got here? Work, my little angst. Oh! What's this? No! One. No, protect the queen! Nine, ten, protect the queen! Seems fair. Protect the queen! Keep her safe! Protect the queen! Oh, jeez! The queen is in danger. Perhaps I should stop the experiment. Yes, perhaps you should. Ensure the queen's protection. No. The queen is in danger. Perhaps I should stop the experiment. This is not what we need. Protect the queen. No. No! What is going on? Oh no! What to the queen? The ants fell victim to the ruthless bombic acid spray. No, they didn't. We should start again. They even came and killed off all of the monsters after. Oh. Okay, we see how it is. We see how it is. We can do this one again, actually. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. The workers shall protect the queen. We're gonna have a new lineup here. It's gonna work out. We'll have plenty of workers. And... Uh, Darn, we wish we could split one up. Okay. Prevent gather. Alright, let's actually just try that again. We see where we went wrong. We're gonna amp up the difficulty. Should we? Should we go to hard? Should we just be a glutton for punishment? We think we will. Formicarium challenge two, medium difficulty. Let's step it up. Seems to have made significant progress. Perhaps it is time we began phase two of the trial. Agreed. I will prepare the beta colonies. Oh, we don't have enough territory points. Let's ease them in with a familiar disturbance. All right. Introduce twenty Formica Fusca ants. The Fusca colony is attached. Right. Ants are on their way. So, we've decided that this is probably going to be the most prudent source to do. We will go over here. We will, uh, you know, chunk up this area, which will be a new worker area. I see. They haven't lost their potency. Nope. Now let's try the Formica Rufa ants. So, when these workers are done, they will be the outward fight squad. They will also be the ones that go rescue things. Whilst our 20 regular workers still here, still stick, uh, sorry guys, words today, stick around there with the uh, queen and protect her from the inevitable assault. Excellent. Food's been dropped on the surface. We like how every uh, pheromone marker thing makes a different noise. No, no, it's cool. Push as hard as you like. We figured out the secret now. I 
introducing 40 Rufa ants. Right. No, I would never be a responsible do an irresponsible douchebag. Alright. We're grant nursery tile, it's cool. They'll be fine. Excellent defense. One food at a time. Don't worry, gales. Don't worry. Increasing to fifty roof ants. Right. Like he do. Gotta let him follow his prerogative just as these ants are gonna follow theirs. All right. Blasting them down here. We can let the red go back. Red, stay at the door. Unless uh, something's going down. Good, good. Speaking of which, something's going down. No, don't worry. Collect your seeds swiftly, my little ants. Don't worry. We got this. Now, let's see how they handle the Rufa and the Fusca invaders. Don't worry, they're coming from the opposite sides. Of each. Yep. Things will be good. Just continue on with business as usual, ladies. This isn't even a thing. For the queen. Protect the queen. Oh dear. Well, they got in. But they stemmed the tide a little bit, which is fine. We don't, we don't think they understand how it's going to go for them. A wonderful victory on two fronts. Is he gonna drop more seeds? We wonder. We try nope. This time. Nope. Just bring him back. Of each. Rufa, Fusca, and just Rufa. bring him back. We'll keep up. We'll get going. It's gonna be fine. We have our backup plan. Okay, we only got room for a couple more. Our formicarium's too small. When the sustained charge comes on. Good, good. A little helping hand for what comes next. Collect it quickly. Faster, faster. Faster! Faster! <laughs> Just dreadfully insane about it. A sustained flow from all three colonies. Let's see. Okay, take it. Go back. Go, go. We don't have time for this. Get part of our mortar collection back. Intrepid reptiles, but what's this? A giant tiger beetle has joined the fray. Yep, okay. This is fine. And another, and another. Oh no, three tiger beetles. It appears that our 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 uh, soldier girls are actually holding them back. Wow, we're surprised, but our soldier girls are just better. Okay, so now we actually have soldiers, or not soldiers, but workers, but proper workers. A good fat cohort to protect the queen. That means that the spiders will take care of them first. Uh-oh, here we go. The spiders will take care of them first. Hopefully we... Do we... We do, we do. We do have some Rufas that'll shoot at things when uh, the spiders get here. 
So that's good. That's good. We're going to figure it out, guys. Don't worry. We got it. Oh, we're out of food. No, no. We, we, that's fine. It's fine. We're not actually out of food. Because we have this tiger beetle to take care of. We have our rear infrastructural line. Our rear logistic line. Sorry. We're just holding on here. And the real test is going to be the, uh... Good work, my little ants. But Spiders. One, two, three, uh, here we go. Here we go. Yeah. Spiders. It hardly seems fair. Nice. Take them out. That's why we kept them behind. It's not fair to the wolf spiders. Now that we know what to expect, we were prepared. We were ready. And our ants, our ants are actually a lot meaner than normal uh, worker ants. Our ant girls. Oh, and now we just have a bunch of food. Yeah, our ant girls are a lot meaner than normal ants. Uh, because they actually fight pretty pretty much like basic soldiers. We think we're good. We think we've fought off all of them. Alright, ladies. Take the fight back. Are we good? We think we're good. We've done it. Yeah, victory to the Raptors. Uh, uh, yes, the, the ants performed excellently. We did. The Rupa. They just staved off an attack from 40 Rupa ants. And, you know, these what? ten... These... I think that's enough for now. Oh, my goodness. We don't want to overstress them. And Agreed. these ten spiders that are just lying around in open view if you use your frickin' eyes, girlfriend. Oh, my goodness. Oh, how about... We give the food advantage this time. They deserve it. Just hilarious amounts of food dropped on the surface. Oh, can we just continue to watch over the former carrier? Can we just add Additional things? Additional experiments will be on hold for the time being. I understand. No more. Tests. Yeah. No more toes. <sighs> We legit don't believe that we have enough uh, food for this. One moment. No. We, we actually have to... We actually have to, like, expand a bunch just to make room for all of this food. Just to make room for all this food. All this food. Yeah, that Formicarium challenge was pretty good. Especially considering... That we, uh... We, we worked on the fly. We adapted past the problems. Oh yeah. So much upgrading. Right, we can do this. Yup, just crush it. Ploop, ploop, ploop everywhere. Are we good? We're like almost good. Now we can store the things. Alright, are we good? Nice. Now we're capable of storing all of this food. Which we are still tearing up. Because it's just too much. Goodness. Alright. Thousands upon thousands of foods. So we can't allegedly Our just drop. Does need to exercise. All right.
Oh, well, that's not gonna work well for the guy who's going into the tunnel. He's... He's... He's just a cat walking along a highway right now. This can't end well for him. So we wonder if we just get food now? Nope, no, they sink away. They don't do anything. Okay, fair enough. That's a shame, but okay. Yeah, it's just a generic experiment. We don't get any good food from it or anything, which is sad, but real. Let's just finish these bad boys up. These seeds. A lot of seeds. Just a truly phenomenal amount of seeds, though, really. We will have full stockpiles for the next one, which appears to be rehousing the colony. Not sure if we should do that today. Oh, we've already chosen one. Got it. Uh, we can't do it. Not of a sufficient level. Leaf cutters, no. We have weakening. What's this? Corrosive, additional six venom damage or high pressure, four point five. Ooh, okay, we see. Extra damage from physical damage. We'll do more physical damage. Bam. And we're, yeah, we're pretty sure we can't get any of that. We could get better workers. So do we want... Cannot take more than 20 damage in a single attack and reduce all incoming damage by 20? Yeah, that's the one we want. Alright, so bam. Our workers are beefy and aggressive and do more damage. Meanwhile, our all of our ants, all of them, are fully upgraded on the basic level. So this is pretty exciting, actually. And... Uh, we're gonna see if we can do something real quick. Ooh, we know what we're gonna do. Gotta upgrade literally everything in the colony. Now we have significantly more ants just working for the queen, for the record. Uh, we're gonna see if we can make a cute little brood chamber over here. Actually, we want them to be a bit more clumpy like that. And we'll make soldiers for this one. Because we have a really capable amount of, uh... Yeah. We already have a really capable amount of mortar girls. We just got ourselves more worker girls. And... Boink. 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 Broink. Kabloink. And... Nice. Alright. Bam. We should also upgrade all of these. Just using this as an opportunity to upgrade literally everything we've got. Nice. Alright. Well, this is cute. We've got all necessary upgrades manned. Really building them up proper. Oop. And then that. Oh, wait. If that one's gonna be a problem, we can take care of that. In fact, we think it's really it really is just better to take care of that. Yeah, cuz now we get considerably larger upgrades just from 
one extra little Rufa girl. Bam, okay. And finally, this place. So yeah, considering all of our accomplishments here today, we think uh, we think we're ready to get done with this guy. Uh, thanks a bunch, everybody, for coming and supporting us here on our YouTube video and supporting the Golden Empire. Please remember to like and subscribe and hit that bell icon. Make sure to comment in the comments section below. Leave a hail the Golden Empire and make sure to share to any and all potentially interested parties that you could possibly think of. Remember that we give our biggest thanks every time to all of our wonderful patrons over on Patreon for all of their support without which we could have never even or would have never even started any of this ultimate awesome YouTubing nonsense that we do every single day on the channel. So if you want to join their honored number, please do consider going on over to Patreon and uh, pledging for just even a dollar a month. Every single dollar helps. Thank you guys so much. You stay safe, stay healthy, keep washing your hands, stay inside, and save lives. Bye.